welcome to the show. I'm Carol. This is the place where we have fun and we learn tips and strategies on how to live a healthy quality of life as long as possible. To kick off with today, we have an interesting chat with Professor Jerry Hattrick about the philosophy of aging. And then we get moving with some fun five minute fitness. Now, I have been camping and trekking for decades, and it usually involves sleeping on the ground, which as you get older, becomes more challenging. But not today, because we're going to a residential camp where we meet some interesting campers who prove that age is just a number. And you can always have fun and try something new. Today on the show, we meet all the way from Sydney, Dr. Jerry Hattrick, Professor of Complexity at the University of the Fourth Age. A lot of you watching will be aware of the University of the Third Age. He is with the University of the Fourth Age. Professor Jerry is an aging philosopher of aging, which is appropriate. His topic today is the difference between complexity and complication and why it matters. Welcome to Over 50. So what, Professor Jerry? I mean, we've known each other for probably a few decades and I know how busy you are, so I'm thrilled you've been able to fit us into your busy schedule. Welcome. Thank, thank you so much, Carol. I'm, I'm delighted to be here. And uh, you haven't changed a, a bit. I, I think it must be the early 90s that we first met. So maybe, uh, maybe uh, a whole generation, really. That's incredible. <laughs> and we we are uh, we are the same age uh, as each other, <laughs> not as we were then. <laughs> and you describe yourself as an aging philosopher. So does, and since we are the same age, does that mean I should describe myself as an aging TV presenter? Well, I don't think so. I don't think you're aging. I think you're uh, uh, you're defying gravity and uh, <laughs> and biology. So no. I think you're just getting wiser and wiser. Thank you. And wiser and wiser. <laughs> well, what's the choice? You're, you're doing better. It's a, it's a good idea. I hate seeing myself in the elevator. Gosh, all those mirrors. And it's like, well, how did that happen? I, I've had to ask the, the hairdresser to, you know, that I need to be parted in the middle. Now, your topic today is the difference between uh, complexity and complication. So this is a very intriguing. Can you just tell us a bit more? What is the difference between complex, as an aging philosopher, between complexity and complication? As we age, uh, we gain uh, greater insight into human behavior and into everyday problems. And complexity doesn't phase us. Things can be multi-layered, multifaceted, uh, intergenerational. Uh, it, there can be group dynamics that are uh, nuanced and we can pick up uh, the, the various elements. What happens when we age is that we have trouble with complication, with convolution, with uh, obscurity, uh, with obfuscation, with people deliberately stirring the pot and deliberately trying to confuse us. Uh, so I think we need to have the confidence as we age to ask people to clarify what it is they're saying to us and to call out their nonsense. Often uh, uh, people treat older people, I'm, I'm 65 going on 66, which I think is the perfect age. Um, and of course, next year, that will be the perfect age. So uh, I need to be confident that I still have my full faculties and that I can call out people who are younger than me, who are trying to, uh, if you like, assert authority uh, just through waffle and uh, babble and uh, um, maybe a, a set of vocabulary, for instance, medical vocabulary that I may not be familiar with um, because you know I'm a, a psychiatrist. I know a bit about psychiatry. I know a bit about neurology, but I don't know everything about the heart, the liver, the kidneys, um, the bowel, um, and so on. 
So uh, we just need to have, um, uh, if you like, uh, be centered and be confident in who we are. Well, you mentioned that we should be calling out people to explain the terminology and all that. And Professor, you are a professor and a philosopher. So I'm going to call you out for all of us, you know, people that aren't professors, that aren't philosophers. Can you simplify that whole concept for us? Say what you mean mean what you say, begin at the beginning, and have a clear ending. Oh, that was much easier to understand than the previous <laughs> convolutions. <laughs> so when did you become interested in this uh, area of study? Well, I suppose uh, uh, when I was a general practitioner, I thought it would be good to uh, uh, specialize and just, you know, keep learning. And I, I, uh, I asked some of my friends who were specialists, uh, a colorectal surgeon, for instance, I said, why did you become a colorectal surgeon? And he said, well, I wanted to be able to get in nine holes before lunch. Uh, but, you know, I'm not a golfer, so uh, uh, that, that wasn't of interest to me. But, but for me, I was interested in the more nebulous, uh, cloudy areas, uh, uh, such as uh, uh, neurology and, and psychiatry the theory of the mind and what motivates people. And, and then as we age, uh, how we do that differently. Yes, I think we all become a bit more interested in aging as we age. You know, being um, in the class of 56, uh, I think that uh, I look around and, and there are, uh, uh, you, you know, uh, more people my age that I can relate to and not feel competitive with. Um, and, uh, 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 I'm comfortable in my own skin, uh, whereas, uh, you know, uh, let's say 10 years out of medical school, I might have been a bit jealous of, of the guys and gals who had Ferraris and uh, uh, waterfront houses. Uh, but now I'm just, you know, pretty pleased to have made it this far. Now, Professor Jerry, you're not really a professor, are you? No. <laughs> We've been witness to a comic hoax by corporate imposter Rodney Marks Comedian. Jerry Hattrick is really Jerry Attrick. So welcome Rodney, professional hoaxer. Can you tell us what is a comic hoaxer? Thank you, Carol. And thank you, uh, people watching this, for um, uh, indulging uh, my, uh, my, my fondness for character. Uh, so a, a, a comic hoaxer is a, a comedian who specializes in impersonation and impression, and usually someone of very high status, such as a doctor um, or a lawyer uh, or a politician or a, you know, a religious leader. And then they just get sillier and sillier and sillier until people realize that they've been hacked. Today you played Dr. Jerry Hattricks. Can you tell us about some of the other characters that you've played? I liked being the king of Finland, which by the way, doesn't have a king. Uh, so I enjoyed being him. And I just wore a suit at an event for the Finnish national airline called Finnair, not Finnair, but Finnair. And uh, a couple of guys came up to me and said, oh, we've never met a king before do you have a card? And uh, that's one of the guys said that. And before I could think of something witty to say, the other guy said, don't be ridiculous. He's a king. And they apologized and walked off. Been uh, president of Bolivia, uh, the South American country. I've been a number of generals. I was an Israeli general in New York um, for a, a, a management consulting firm. And a guy asked me again for my business card. And I gave him a blank card, uh, which is a kind of a cheap trick. Anyway, I gave him a blank card. He looked at it and said, I'm sorry, General, this card's blank. And I said in my terrible Israeli accent, oh, you know, the guys in the labs are having some fun. And, uh, uh, you know, the ink will reveal itself in about an hour. And about an hour later, I saw him wandering around looking at the card. And so how many different accents do you do? I claim that I do more than I do uh, because my, uh, my German accent is a little bit like my Russian accent and my French accent's a little bit like my Spanish accent. But I probably do a dozen. Sometimes you're the guest speaker, like as the king or whatever, 
but other times you just work as a comedy MC but you take on a persona for that as well and it sounds yeah. like you live in character what from the time you have your first interaction with somebody at the venue that's exactly right Carol as soon as you enter the venue you're in character and sometimes they can be in character for a number of days. Well, I think that you're going to definitely thwart off Alzheimer's and dementia because it must be such an intellectual, you know, exercise to stay in character and use an accent for such long periods of time. That takes a lot of sort of up here. That's kind of you. Hopefully it's true. Well, thank you so much, Dr. The Professor Jerry Hattrick. Uh, <laughs> Jerry Hattrick, otherwise known as Rodney Marks, corporate comic hoaxer thank you for coming on the show and giving us a bit of fun thank you carol and congratulations on all your many successes including with this show um i hear you're up there with uh, uh, the very best of fishing and four-wheel drives thanks so much for coming on the show and making time in your busy schedule bring it on <laughs> thanks for watching our tv show be sure to hit subscribe and then you'll never miss an episode. Jump on Facebook, join our group, get in on the fun, fitness, wellness and inspiration. I'm Carol, over 50, so what?